To our race day studio, Caitlin Vinci alongside Trevor Bain, Todd Bodine, and the big ARCA race just coming to a close. Jesse Love once again getting the third win of the year for yep. him. Three in a row at some really big racetracks, fast racetracks. I'm sure he's pumped to show these cup teams that are there watching what he can do. Absolutely. And everybody over Venturini Motorsports doing a great job. Another one two finish. Billy's doing a good job. Everybody there, great race cars. Yeah, Venturini Motorsports always so strong, of course, when it comes to the ARCA Menard series. Take a look at some of the. And not make a mistakes and that's that's one of the few mistakes that we've seen Zane make so right. I'm not going to panic if I'm there. Yeah no panic happening for the defending champion no doubt about that so let's take a look once exciting guys what's the intensity level going to be like? You think <laughs> it, going? Well it's always high these truck races are so short you've got to get after it from lap one and we've seen the aggression just pick up year after year in the truck series. It seems like the truck series have become all about the restarts and we oh, know yes. how. Fine. Always great to see the two of you it's a Friday night race it's NASCAR's home track of Charlotte doesn't get much better than this, right? Friday night under the lights, under right? The you lights. think it's like a high school Ooh, yeah. football game, but it's not. It's <laughs> shoving. They all want to get to victory lane. <laughs> well, not to mention Todd. It certainly is. So these guys have some extra reasons to race really hard tonight and get the win. And speaking of winners, let's take a look at the great this season. We head out to Charlotte Motor Speedway and join our pit reporter, Jamie Howe, who has the latest on Ty Majeski. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Caitlin. Yes, after he finished the last four you throughout the course of the show. So, Ty Majeski, what do you think of what we've seen out of him so far this season? Well, Trump? Jamie did a great job <laughs> there really covering did. the yes, bases. Yes, absolutely. Because, all covered. Yep. because Ty. <laughs> Did you so. that body style, Todd? No, no I'm not quite that old, Trevor. <laughs> okay. Appreciate that. You had to point that out. All right, it is a home game, so let's look at who's feeling right at home right about now. And for this, I want to bring up the play. Jamie is out at the racetrack with Mr. Matt Benedetto for the answers. Hey, Jamie. So who else should we watch as home run hitters? We're continuing with this home theme of Charlotte. Who are you watching? Well, this kind of sounds like a broken record, but <laughs> I, I like Corey Heim again. I, I've been talking a lot about him. This young man really impresses me. Uh, to do. So each summer, our friends on Race Hub bring you their Beyond the Wheel short film series. Next week, the franchise returns. This season, we have three diverse films. Here is a sneak and host of ours. So today, we do have a special one on one interview between Eric Almarola and rookie driver Nick Sanchez, both of Cuban descent. They talk their backgrounds, racing, and more. Here is Eric and Nick. More about both Nick Sanchez and Eric Almarola. Thanks to Eric for doing that for us. So we've talked about Nick a lot throughout the course of the season. What has impressed you the most about him so far in his rookie campaign? Well, to me, I watched the time he's running really well. So yeah. this kid's really good. He's got a great future. Yeah, and, and it's amazing what one race can do for you. And they look at you and say, man, what's he capable of? And I think he's right on that cusp of breaking through, but you're right, he's got to clean up some things. Yeah. We will keep an eye, no doubt, on Nick Sanchez potentially for the win tonight. And we're getting on race picks who we believe can get it done at the home track out at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I get to go first today, guys, nice. which is exciting. Yeah. I'm going with the driver you talked about briefly, and it's Corey Heim. He's been really strong throughout the course of the season. I think Corey gets it done out at Charlotte. Todd, what say you? Well, I like Ty Maj Jeske. There he is, Mr. He's Second been or whatever. Strong every Second. week. <laughs> you bet against him. Eventually, he's got to win this race. That's true. That's true, Trevor. I guess I got to finish out the trifecta that we've all been talking about. We can't leave, yeah. leave Zane Smith out of this battle here. He's in the championship battle. I want to remind you guys. He also started 14th at Texas when he was battling Nick Sanchez for that win. 14th okay. starting position tonight. Okay. There you go. He picked the winner last time, so we'll see. All right, for Todd, Trevor, myself, that does it for us here on Race Day. Time to go Truck Series racing at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and for that we say. Hello to Adam Alexander.